This one. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing this Gorga day? How are you guys doing today? It's a fucking Monday. Yo, it's Monday. I'm filming on a Monday. This won't go live on a Monday. <laughs> Witchcraft. Anyways guys, what is up? Today's video, I am... I'm not excited to make this video, honestly, I'm really not. Usually I say that I'm super excited about today's video because I usually really am excited to film my videos. But today's video, I'm honestly like kind of disappointed in like the fact that I even have to do this is like really frustrating. And I was debating and didn't know if I wanted to create this actually. I was like, no, I'm not gonna do this. Like I don't wanna be problematic or I don't wanna look like I'm like being a little bitch or anything like that. But you know, for me, I recently had called out, you know, make a revolution for, you know, my component and things like that. And I told myself this year, I was like, I'm gonna stand up for myself more. I'm gonna talk about things I really, really wanna talk about more. and that that's what today's video is. Like, I just want to express my opinion about something. And you can have a different opinion, that's totally fine. But I feel like this is like really not cool and I want to express that and let it be known because I think that it's wrong. So there's this brand called C Color Cosmetics, I believe that they're called. And they seem to love to copy verbatim color stories from different brands, <laughs> for example. So as you can see, this is Life to Drag. This is my brand. Stunning. Original color story. We love to see it. This is Color Cosmetics. Okay. Hmm. They are the same. Something's look a little, a little similar to me. Something's looking a little similar. Mm. Laura Los Angeles, Nudie Patootie. Stunning palette, literally so gorgeous. Right here. Huh. Something's looking a little fishy here. <laughs> so, you know, I thought I would just come on here and kind of talk about this. And I thought it'd be fun to do an eye look with the copies and then an eye look with the original so you guys can see the quality. <laughs> Cause I have swatched some and they are, um, it's a shocking, shocking result, to be quite honest. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, that's what today's video is going to be. As always, if you guys like this video, if you guys don't like me, please don't fucking watch it, you know the drill with that. But if you guys do like this video, if you guys like comparisons, if you guys like the gaze, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. But yeah, let's go and get into today's video. <laughs> So you guys, I came across these palettes a little while ago actually, because I had got tags on Twitter. Like apparently like they're sold in some type of store. I'm not exactly sure what store C Color Cosmetics is at. I have no idea. People were going to the store and they were seeing dope too. And they're like, wait, this looks like Life to Drag. And I'm like, holy shit, that does look like Life to Drag. So I go to their website, right? I go click on their website and I see me and Laura's copies. Like I literally see me and Laura's copies. They're not even dupes. Like this is why I want to make this video because I feel like there's a difference between a dupe and a blatant copy. This to me is a blatant copy. Like you cannot look at this product and you can't tell me this is not the exact life a drag product. Like you can't tell me that it's not. You know, so for me seeing it, I was like, Ooh, why would they do that? I'm so confused. You know, I understand like being inspired by something and wanting to create a dupe of it by taking inspiration from something. Like I get that. But like trying to copy the palette verbatim and the finishes of the colors in it, not only is it like copying my palette color story, trying to copy the same finishes as mine with, with the metallics in the middle, the shimmer, like subtle shimmer blue. I was like, whoa. Like they really went above and beyond to copy the palette verbatim. Like the fact that it's dope one is Laura's copy and dope two is my copy. It seems so pointed like, oh, we're gonna definitely copy Laura and Manny and create an exact replica of their products. And it's like the word dope itself, like there's, oh my God, that's so dope, that's so cool kind of dope. And then there's dope that's like, you're such a dope. So it's like, okay, so what dope are we talking about here? Are you calling us dopes? Like I'm so confused by the entire thing. I'm confused, confused by the entire brand. Like what is happening? I literally don't understand. And I wasn't gonna talk about this, but honestly, I'm standing up for myself on this one because I feel like this is really genuinely wrong. What really brought me to want to talk about it even more was the fact that I was on Twitter and it was like two weeks ago, someone tagged me in a photo of a palette and it was opened and it was the exact replica of Jackie Ina's palette with Anastasia. And I was like, what the fuck? Who would like copy that verbatim? I clicked it and it was C Color Cosmetics. And I was like, you're fucking kidding me. So they're literally just out here copying everyone's color stories, trying to make it cheaper and trying to sell it. What? That's classless. I mean, how dare her? So I was like really genuinely like annoyed seeing that. So I was like, you know what? No, I'm gonna do this. So I went to their site and they're out here copying everyone, man. Chris and Dominique's palettes in there, like copy her like latte palettes. Mine and Laura's obviously, Jackie Ines with Anastasia. They're out here copying everyone. And the thing is like what really, really grinds my gears is that not only are they copying other brands, like that already pisses me off, but copying like the smaller indie brands when they're like the small indie brands is like what kind of really pisses me off the most and it's like wow 
So not only are you trying to copy from like the big brands, like the Natasha Denonas of the world, or like the Anastasia, like I get it, like copying from them, they're humongous brands, they have tons of money. Why can't you just dupe it in the way of like coming out with a similar color story? You don't need to copy the layout verbatim. That's just my personal opinion. But when you're starting to take away from like the small indie brands that already like struggle, trying to make themselves happen and fight harder to like become a bigger brand, that's when I'm like, y'all have no fucking, like just, is there's no boundaries? Is there no morals left? What happened to decency? So that's kind of why I want to make this video because I thought it was really, honestly, I thought it was like morally just wrong. I think it's really, really fucked up. Whether you're copying a small indie brand or you're copying a huge brand, the blatant copying color story wise and finish wise, like is just really, really gross to me. At least switch up the fucking pans, man. Don't make it so obvious that you're trying to copy people. Cause that to me is like just blatantly wrong. Like it's really, really wrong to me. But I figured let's do a little look, right? Let's do a little look with them. Do you know what really cracks me up? So let's swatch a couple colors though first. We have our dupe of Laura Los Angeles. This is the dupe, yep. See, I can, I literally was like, huh? What the fuck? No names on it. So we're gonna swatch, let's do some hard shades to, to create. This one. Let's do, let's do Laura's. Hmm. <laughs> Laura's. Oh, iconic. Let's take this one. And I'm, you guys, I'm like, sw I'm swirling. Like, I promise you, I'm swirling. I'm doing it. I am doing it. Swirling, swirling, swirling. We have Laura's here. Right there. Uh-huh. So let's swatch some of mine, because <laughs> I'm curious myself as well. Let's do some hard shades. Let's do black. Black's a hard shade to do. I'll swatch my black first. Pitch black, bitch, pitch black. And then we'll swatch Dope 2's black. Feel soft, I'll give him that. So as we can see, one's a, 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 a gray, you know, a soft charcoal gray. So mine's right here, theirs is right here. Let's try the yellow. I think you're still fucked up, but you get the point. Yellow right here. Okay, well there's that, so there's that. So we have their yellow. Oh God, my yellow, fuck. I think we can just we can just see the vibrancy. The base, it ain't there. It's just not fucking there, fam. It's just not there. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to just kind of show colors that are kind of hard to create and see what they look like, you know? Cause that's when you can tell like, bitch, any brand can make a good transition shade. Like any brand, I'm sure this one feels soft. I'm sure it works totally fine. It's a little chunky, but I'm sure it feels just fine. It works just fine. Cause it's a transition shade. It's not hard to create, but the hard shades are like, oh, that's when you know like, Quality. We have some shockers here, y'all. I mean, the palette's 10 bucks, man. And the fact that like the Dope 1 and Dope 2 on their site, it's sold out. Like that's like what makes me even more annoyed. I'm like, dude, people were buying it, thinking that that was like such an innovation, such a cool thing, such a cool product, cool color story. <sighs> when it's not even theirs. And I'm not even saying that I own this color story. I'm not at all. I do not own colorful neutral palettes. Like, fuck no, I don't own any of that stuff. Laura does not own neutrals. Like we don't own that. But when it comes to copying the color story verbatim, come on, like, Coming. It's so funny because I keep wanting to call the products a dupe because I'm so used to the term dupe, but it's not a dupe. It's a copy. It's a fucking copy. So the actual pan of the originals is actually larger than the uh, copy. You can see like, I hope you guys can tell, but it's actually larger. The originals is larger. Girl. Let's go in and start. We're just going to do a mixture of both of them and just kind of talk and just discuss. I'm taking the shade Sickening from my palette. I'm going to do, right side will be originals right here. I just dipped into Sickening. Bitch, Sickening is Sickening. I guess when it comes to duping guys, to me, I feel like there is a way you can do without being a complete dick, I guess you could say. You can come out with some color stores, you can come out with similar things, but coming out with the product and it's exactly the same, but just for a cheaper price is just, I don't know. It's just whack. It's just fucking whack to me. I just don't like it. <laughs> what do you guys think? What is your guys' take on this? Like, when you guys see this, are you guys like, what the fuck? Let me take the dupe sickening. I'm gonna take the shade sickening on the dupe side. Taking the dupe sickening right here. This should be, it should be good. I'm, I'm hoping it's good. It's a fucking transition. It can't not be bad. Yeah, like it's, it's fine. These, these kind of transitions, easy to create. Super, super easy. But what do you guys think of this? Like, I'm curious, like, what do you guys think of this kind of thing? Like, is it whack to you? Is it like crazy to you? Like, how would you feel? Like if this was like your, let's say it's your brand and it's something that you worked really, really hard on. Like, how would you feel if like that was, if it was done to you? Like, I'm just, I'm genuinely curious because I taking original bear from Los Angeles and a little bit of butt naked as well. 
Hell yeah. Like, how would you guys feel? Like, would you guys feel like, dang, that sucks? Like, I can't believe they did that? Or would you guys feel like, oh, well, it's life? You know what I mean? Like, I, I just, I'm curious. Like, I'm so genuinely curious about this because to me, it's like, it sucks. <laughs> Like it really sucks, especially when you work so hard on a brand. Like, especially Life's a Drag, like that was my first product. It just hits a little bit harder when it's like, dude, that's my first baby. Like that sucks. And then selling it as like your own, as like, look at our like dope palette as if it's your idea. That's like the real gag, dude. Like trying to pass it off like it's you. That it's you who created it. Isn't that fucked? Like I really just don't, I'm just, ba I honestly am baffled. Like I just, I have no words. Okay, let's do the other side right here. Ooh, that brown's rough. You can tell. I'm gonna darken it, you guys, by the way, when it's when I'm done. So you guys can see like the depth, because obviously like the copy shades are not as deep and like as rich in tone as the originals are. So like it's just more of a surface level color. And usually like that matters when it comes to like longevity. Like will your shadows last long because there's a lot of base in it? Like there's a lot of depth to the color. Will it last on your eyes a long time or will it not? So that's like kind of when it actually matters. This one doesn't. The shadows feel soft though. Gotta give them that. I guess they feel soft. <laughs> But I'd rather, you know, have some depth to the shades for me personally. That's just me. That's just me personally. Let's go and take on the lid. Let's do Jaybird. I no. Let's do all natural on the lid. Go on Laura Lee. Stunning. Right here. It's like a glittery foil shade. Oh! Bah. This is divine. He's fucking divine, fam. Let's take their version of it on this side. What is happening with this shadow, dude? Oof. 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 Bro. Not me having to actually break the shadow to get anything off. I'm gonna just watch my shade Mug, the dark brown, to see if I wanna use that one. And the equivalent version of Mug. Mine is here. Mug right there. Let me try to do another watch, swatch of that one. Let me do a double layer maybe. Oh, okay. Well, you know, there's that. <laughs> there's that. I'm just deepen up my shadow with some mug. Taking a little bit of the equivalent mug on the other side. See if that deepens anything. Doesn't look like it's doing much, no, does it? I'm literally using these same exact colors, by the way, like on both sides. Dang, my phone's going off today, isn't it? Okay, so that is, you know, there's that. This is the, the copy side, and then there's the originals. Okay, so... I have like no words, like I literally have no words. Like I knew they weren't gonna be as good, like I felt it in my fucking bussy. But this is like actually a shocker. Like I didn't expect it to be as this bad. Okay, let's go with some black, with some shady, my black. Girl, a little bit goes, oh my God, it's so intense. I need to be careful. Miss Shady is does not play games. Ooh, ooh, careful. The smallest goes quite the long way. Look how deep that is, my goodness, the depth. The pinchy depth. Ugh. Ooh, ooh. Why do I feel like I'm at, back at Mac days? Like, I literally feel like I'm doing a Mac eye right now. <laughs> I really do. Let me just blend out that black a little bit because it needs a little, Ooh, careful. Black can get crazy real quick. There's that. Let's do the black on the other side as well. Let's take a similar brush. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. There's that. You know, there's that. Let me go ahead and blend out that one as well. It's hard to tell with the lights that are going on right now in my studio, I guess you could say, my beauty room. But you will, you'll you'll see what I'm talking about right now as soon as I turn off the lights. Okay, let me go ahead and turn down the brightness so you guys can see what I'm talking about. This is the original side. The right side is the original. So we can see the depth of the black, the depth of the shades, the depth of the lid color. And then we go to the copy, what it looks like. So, so about that. <laughs> I hope that bringing down the brightness and the lights helped the situation so you guys can see what's actually happening and so you guys can tell the situation at hand. Let's try to build up that other black though because this is looking haunting. Okay, it builds a little. Yeah, definitely build to be a little bit more black for sure. Gray, really, it's more so gray than black, but... <sighs> it's pinchy rough. Let's take a little bit of beat from Life's a Drag in the inner corner right here to see. 
Oh, she's so bright and stunning. Oh my God, V is the girl. Wipe that brush off. Taking the equivalent of B on the other side. Nicely loaded, I loaded her on up. So the original has like a really intense brightness right away. The dupe doesn't have that same kind of brightness, but it's still bright, if that makes sense. Like it doesn't have that same effect. This is, this is gonna be easier for me to tell you. So this is original B on top, copy B on the bottom. So you guys can see that there's just more reflection in the original than the copy. Can you see that? I hope you guys can tell. It's so hard to do this. <laughs> it's so hard to do this. Yeah. I hope you guys can tell. I'm gonna go and do the rest of the eyes off camera, like the lower lash line, put a lash on, and then we'll come back with our thoughts. <laughs> okay, went ahead and I put some lashes on, on both sides. Original on this side, as we can see, nice depth. Copy on this side. Uh, it's something. It's, it's something for sure. I mean, <laughs> The swatches speak for themselves, really. I have no words. I have no words. Anyways, guys, so that is it. That's it for today's video. All in all, <laughs> I have to say, I gotta go with the original Nudy Patootie and original Ice Drag. You know, you guys, I'm not here to tell you how to spend your money. I'm not at all. I'm not telling you, like, don't buy these. Don't do that. What I am here to tell you, though, is I hope that you guys support the originals. I hope you guys go to that website. If you guys see, you know, the palettes, you guys will see what they've done and how they've made their brand and how they've made their business. And I'm not telling you not to buy from them. All I'm saying is I hope you guys can see what they're doing. And I hope that you guys do spend your hard earned money on the originals. People that actually work really hard to create original stuff for you guys. I'm one of those people. Laura's one of those people. Kristen, so many different creators on there have been copied and duped and it sucks. It really, really sucks because I know how hard people work on these things and especially, you know, a smaller indie influencer brands. Like it's hard. It's actually really, really hard to, you know, make a name for yourself and have a great brand and do the best that you can and be original as you can. And seeing someone come in and completely copy your color stories, it's heart wrenching. It really is. Seeing it, it's just like, wow, wow, <laughs> that sucks. Like it really, really, really sucks. So anyway, hope you guys don't mind today's video. I know it's different than usual, but I didn't want to let it go. I think it was just festering in me for a while and I didn't want to just be like, oh, well, it's fine. Like, yeah, everyone can copy us. Like, it's cool. It's okay. No, it's fine. Go ahead. I don't think it's cool. I think it's really, really, really whack. And I think that if you're going to dupe something, dupe someone, okay, dupe them, but don't make it a blatant copy. It's so fucked up. You know, people work hard on their things and making a cheaper copy of it is just like, I don't know. It's just rough. It's rough to see. It sucks. And it's like, yeah, that's life. And that's the beauty community. There's a lot of like copying that goes on around. I totally, totally understand. But that's the beauty of me being able to have a platform and talk about the things I want to talk about and share my concerns. And I think it's really, really messed up. And I hope that you guys will support the original creators who do things that try to do the best that they can for you in an original way and not the blatant copies from other brands. So yeah, you guys, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. You know, it was definitely a shocker, definitely a shock to my system out here, but you know, it is what it is. I just figured I would say something about it. So hope you guys don't mind. Have a great night or day wherever you guys are. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye. By the way, my product, my brand launch for holiday is coming up like next week. So stay fucking tuned, man, because that shit's happening soon. Reveal videos happening soon. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, anyway, I love you guys. Have a great rest of the night or day wherever you guys are, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye, I love you. Mwah. A million miles away. Girl, girl, girl. She doesn't play any games. No games involved. Romeo. I'll take these lashes off because I'm not gonna wear this, that's for sure. <laughs> I ain't wearing this shit. That's for, what the fuck is that? What is that? What is that? It's patchy too. Oh, fuck. oh, the depth, I love that. What the fuck is that? Basura, these are going on the basura. It's basura. Thank <laughs> you.